Hello everyone, this is Sensuous One and I want to welcome you all to the Little Blue Button Stamps October release of the new rubber stamp that's out and it's called Christmas Joy and this is the card that I created using the stamp set and this is what the stamp set looks like super cute and it has a bunch of sentiments and her stamps are available um, at not too shabby shop and also at CC designs so for the stamp I of course use my Copic colors because I love my Copic colors and I'll go ahead and quickly and tell you the colors that I used for her skin I use E00, E2, I'm sorry E02, E13 and YR21 for her lips I used R35 for her hair I used E37 and YR24 for the green on her outfit and the tree I used YG09 and YG06 um, also on the tree I'm sorry for her outfit I used YG09 and YG06 for the tree I used the same two colors with the G09 added to the edges to give it some like shadow effects um, for the her um, boots that she has on uh, and her scarf they're like a gray color I use C5 and N0 for the flower pot of the Christmas tree I used E39 and E15 and then for the soil that you see in the actual pot itself is um, N4 and so I can go in a little bit closer the um, the colors you see on her leggings her little stockings um, I didn't use couple markers for that I did use these pens they're called super glide by CeeLo or Cello. I had picked these up from um, Dollar General but this is what they look like I'm gonna focus and these are the colors that I used. Oops. I just thought it was easier for the um, little fine lines to um, get in. And those pens are fine points. So it got into the really small places really good. So I made this super simple easel card, as you can see. And I'll show you real quick um, how I made the card itself. I just used some plain um, piece of cardstock, cut it down to 4.5 by 11 scored it at four inches don't mind this line I messed up I was trying it out and I scored again at three and a half inches so you have two sections that are three and a half and one that's four uh, four yeah four inches the four inch part is going to be your top piece sorry if I'm so close let me see so once you take the four inch piece and you bring it down that's going to make your easel and then you know you're going to add your piece here to give it a stopper so that the easel card will stand up which is what I did here on the bottom of this card. So, oh, there we go. Okay, the um, presents that I use at the bottom of the tree came from my Jolie's Boutique um, dimensional sticker pad that I had, sticker pack. And then the top floor is just one of the little dollar stamps that you get from Joann's, and I added one of these um, TPC Studio gems. I believe these came from a Hobby Lobby. And then the background of the stamp is I used some plain green and black um, cardstock paper and I used some polka dot paper from the Simple Stories Color Vibe 2. That will focus for me. No? There we go. And then the Merry Christmas sentiment came from the um, Tim Holtz Alterations. What is this one called? I don't see a name. I don't want my phone to die on me. So, uh, it's from this here. This one comes with the actual um, dies. So, I use that Merry Christmas sentiment right there. And then on the actual tree here, I use some of these little pearls that I had in my stash. Little flat back pearls to give the tree some little balls. Now, this piece here, the stopper for my actual easel card, is popped up with pop dots. 
you can see under the edge. Well, no, I didn't use pop dots. I used a dimensional tape. I just put two pieces under there and made it stand up. I think it came out so darling. I love it. I I love the little blue one stamps, um, her images. The girl images are so super cute. But um, that's all that I use for this card. And, it, and I kept it kind of flat, as flat as possible. I love to embellish my cards, but I had to hold back on this one because I really want to um, use my cards this year. Although our cards that I'm making, they're going to go out for Christmas cards. So I kind of want to keep it flat because once you, um, you can put it down this way or this way. It'll go into, um, actually you can fold it all the way in. Fold the bottom piece in and this part in like that. And then put it in like a, um, a padded envelope or what have you, or wrap it or put it in with a gift or whatever. But, yeah. That's my card. Hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to check out the Little Blue Button Stamps blog and check out all of the other designers' cards as well. So I thank you all for watching. Bye.